New at six, today marks three years since the police shooting took the life of Vladimir Arboleda. His family held a vigil a short time ago. KPI XY's Andrea Borba live in Danville with more on that. Well, Elizabeth and Alan, things wrapped up here just a short time ago. But as you said, today marked the three-year anniversary of the shooting death of Vladimir Alberletto here in Danville. His family is pushing to mark the moment and make a change. Gathered in front of the Danville Library, a group of mothers, members of an unfortunate sorority of women who lost their sons in police shootings, came to mark the three-year anniversary of Laudamer Arboleda's death. It didn't have to happen, so thank you for everyone who's extended their support and love. Uh, we will continue to fight um, for justice, and um, hopefully this will never, ever happen to anyone else again. The families of Angelo Quinto and Miles Hall also stood and then marched down Front Street in Danville asking for justice and change in the way the mentally ill are treated. People with mental health are so much more likely to be shot and killed by the police. So that's why now we need to have different ways that the police don't show up. Be in here always in solidarity with the Arboleda family because of this horrible injustice that has not ceased in, in these three years. Andrew Hall, the sheriff's deputy who shot and killed Laudamer, was convicted just last week of assault on him. But the jury hung seven to five on a voluntary manslaughter charge. I'm requesting Diana Beckton again to retry the case for voluntary manslaughter. Hall, still employed by the Contra Costa County Sheriff's Office, is also accused in the on-duty shooting death of Tyrell Wilson in Danville earlier this year. Bearing white roses and walking the route Waterer was killed on, they are asking for a change in how people of color and people with mental illness are treated by law enforcement. These are four men of color with a history of mental health struggles who were, who were murdered for, for their illness. Would we ever do this to a cancer patient? Now, this is not about just marches and vigils here in Danville for these families. They say they want to enact change on city, state, and federal levels to make sure that no one else has to suffer the same pain they have. In Danville, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.